Huawei Watch GT2 with the OnePlus 7 Pro or any Android phone that is not the Huawei mobile phone requires the installation of Huawei mobile services along that with the Huawei help application. I have tried to set up the watch guys and the first thing I noticed is that the watch started to update itself because there is a new firmware which is quite good actually. So firmware update, I have managed to successfully install the Huawei mobile services from the Huawei app gallery. Now I've removed both the Huawei app gallery and the Huawei mobile services after giving them permissions to even read my bird milk. But right now I'm happy, I just have the Huawei health and it does seem to work so stay tuned for more updates. It does sit quite good on the hand so my first update B is like yeah it's not really bad at all guys I can fit it it's on my hand but you know after the well, probably five or the ten of the minute of putting it on my hand I did kind of forget about it so it does not really obstruct your hand and the wheels here and the dialers are not really getting uh, in your hand so it's I think a very comfortable fit for now okay to the first boot after the update wow very fast guys really I'm impressed very fast Now I'm tracking guys an outdoor walk and trying to understand how the apps behave. Certainly not so bad. We started with a warm-up exercise, as you can see here now, the diagram changed to warm-up and as long as you just keep going in a good pace, you're gonna get here fat burning and actually the display under the bright sunlight is not that bad at all, I can tell guys. And there are quite also a lot of options for you to switch, so definitely not a bad idea, right? So I'm not sure if you can see this quite away, maybe if you go here in the dark, but indeed, very nice. And you know, having a speaker inside the Huawei GT Watch 2 is also a quite nice idea because you're able to hear the guidance directly from the watch so no headphone needed no need to have your phone and also the app quite quite nice guys okay good now you can see that the watch monitors four different areas first one being warm-up and now the second one is the fat burning one it gives you also information about the pace distance time and of course live reading on the heart rate and actually I have to tell you guys I kind of dig the whole setup here let's see I'm just interested into seeing what will happen when I cross the fat burning one so I will up my pace a little bit and see what happens then but certainly a very nice fitness tracker and it seems that all the settings that you're able to see here are giving very nice and relevant information this is the next screen here you see again cadence in minutes and also calories burned again you have the time and you have the steps and also of course you have the mode that one is giving you the elevation and the meters climbed so I think this could be useful specifically when you're hiking in the mountain it indicates the heart rate and we are now about to cross the green line so we're gonna go now into the next section and let's see what it's gonna be this depends really on the heart rate as I told you guys I have upped my pace and my pulse is now more than 130 and I am already into the yellow mode which is the aerobic mode all right so the first one was warm-up then we have fat burning and now we have the aerobic one and uh, you see how this goes guys I think that's pretty much like the training layout for all different sports and actually they're quite good huh? so I've upped my pace guys and as you can see here my pulse went more than 130 and I'm right now into the aerobic mode I think the aerobic mode follows the fat burning one which was the one in green and the first one was the warm-up and I pretty much think that this is the layout for most of the sports out there 
so not that bad at all I would say going more than this will become interesting but you pretty much got the idea and now of course my pose went below 130 and I'm back into the fat burning mode all right very nice I have to tell you I'm really impressed you know also direct sunlight watch is still very visible actually quite impressed up to now one kilometer pace is 16 minute and 52 second your current heart rate is 120 okay now you can see why it matters if the watch that you're carrying the smartwatch or the fitness tracker has a speaker because what you have witnessed right now is just some useful information when you reach the first kilometer or any other kilometer and this information actually came directly from the speaker of the smartwatch so also I would say indeed a very nice functionality of course if you're wearing your headphones you can connect your headphones the wireless ones directly with Bluetooth directly to the watch you'll be able also to hear that one but even if you don't have headphones guys this watch can speak to you and I really mean this and I think you've been witness to what it says again very impressed with the quality and of the software really good job Huawei good job Hello? Hello? Drasti, what are you doing? Hey, I'm going to test that I'm going to talk about one hand and I'm going to hear how Нали? Жестоко е, гад и ако сте добре бабо, много се радвам, утре ще се видим и ще го покажа как говоря от ръката си. Ай, 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 the blue one and past the green one so blue one is warm up green one is fat burning and I'm getting my heart rate now steadily over 130 which is getting myself in the Arabic zone you can see it has a calorie counter based on the effort you're doing which I'm not sure how much accurate it is given the fact that you have the speed here and then of course you have time so right now the watch is just doing a proper heart rate monitoring which is really important for myself Another update, now I'm well above the 140 heart rate and we can see I'm in the anaerobic zone. So the last really bloody red bar is really a thing called extreme, right? So we went up to the anaerobic one, see pulse getting 152, I will slow this down, I don't want to go into the extreme zone and of course the watch can warn you if you see the thresholds reaching almost the half part of my training guys and you can see right now the watch is indicating training effect 2 to 2 fitness maintained okay so I'm still in that zone guys this was the guided notification so to speak or alert you get when reaching 20 minutes of your training so every 10 minutes you are getting this bombastic speech from the watch which might be a little bit intimidating if you're doing something with other people in a fitness but you don't really care about that right do you it's time for the water test and as we see guys the watch has a very nice homophobic coating because you see Water doesn't stay here, it just, just goes away guys, so not that bad at all, right? I think I like it. See? Oh, you see? This is very good oleophobic coating. And of course, this watch guys is 5 ATM, so it's safe for you to take it and have a swim. And it does also support, you know, like free swimming and off swimming in a pool. But just have in mind, this IP68 rating doesn't guarantee if you swim with the watch in a sea where the water is salty so don't take it for a spin with salty water okay now it's time for a more sophisticated water test all right now what i wanted to test guys is if the water is turning on the screen so let's say you end up into being in a heavy rain with your watch still operational and the water not so sure now definitely operational still even if it's underwater, okay, I'm a little bit too scared to play the speaker, 
don't know what will happen. I don't want to activate the speaker, guys. I'm not afraid really if water will get there because they say Huawei claim it's 5 ATM, right? So it should be okay for you to swim with that watch. Very nice, autophobic coding as we can see. All right, sensors, hard sensors do work. All right, so I hope that uh, yeah, the watch is gonna survive this test. So here the watch performing in rather snowy environment, as you can see. Not a problem at all, performing quite stable. You don't need to worry with a watch like this on your hand, even if you have a lot of snow on the watch, as the watch is 5 ATM waterproofed. But I think that just some nice shots are made now with the watch. As you can see, rather very sturdy performance, not a problem at all, and of course quite good visibility, given the fact that there is no direct sunlight, guys. What do you think? Do you like the way it rocks? Do you like the way it looks? I'm very happy with the watch right now. Now time to test altitude reduction. Okay, so we can see I'm going through some stairs. Okay, one meter down. Okay, I would say it's quite accurate, guys. From what I can see, very good work. Okay, one floor down. Yeah. I think it's almost as true. You see what's happened? Pretty much impressed with the sensors. Okay, so I'm just going seven floors down, guys, and here I can see that the altitude is dropping for sure. So I think this can be marked as checked. Good work, Huawei. Some words I think I need to mention about the screen. Huawei did adopt the 3D glass, and I think it's one of probably the first examples that people are adopting 3D glass technology for the screens for smartwatches. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this effect. There is a very interesting effect when you put the sun directly to the screen and you can just observe the bezels. Actually, there are no bezels, guys. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's absolutely curved in a almost like one piece way so it's really very very nice and good looking technology but also should be able to provide a lot of durability against dust water and etc so i wanted to show you guys this angle because i'm not sure if this has been seen in the other videos i've seen on youtube about this watch can you see the border here where the numbers are i think that's quite interesting and i think it has to do with the technology that whoever is using and they're calling it 3d glass overall it is really like one big curved piece and this allows the watch to have a really nice design. Testing the watch display during night, very bright, very vivid display. You cannot say the same when you test the watch in brighter daylight, but of course that's an AMOLED screen and it's rather normal, so it's not a transfer refractive screen like we have on the Amazfit B for example, or let's say the Stratos, but this one looks awesome in the night and it looks very good during daylight too and it's just really a pleasure to look at watch faces like this by the way this one i'm rocking right now is a custom one and you cannot find it in the original shop i'll probably make another video on how to install custom watch faces on the huawei gt2 so guys you have made it so far so good now it's time for the final recap my words on the Huawei Watch GT2 and I will be very honest with you guys I don't think that there is anything for that price range that can even be close to this watch and I'm not kidding 14 days of battery if you're using it wisely if not 7 days which is still great compared to Wear OS devices which will usually run out of battery for one day okay very stable performance almost luck-free experience as you can see here very easy and intuitive navigation, music control, the ability to take calls from the watch and of course all the sports tracking which I think really is on a great level here. Very detailed, very nice, very easy and because the watch has an integrated speaker you will be also receiving voice guidance. So that's why I'm saying I really doubt that there is anything at the price range of 175 euro that can even be close design wise, performance wise and also feature wise. So it's a very nice, very stable watch. And let's do again a very short recap on the navigation. So when you open the watch, you're gonna get the main watch face. Then scrolling to the left, I'm gonna get your activity results, I'm gonna get your controls for music and voices. And one more time to the left, we're gonna get you the weather. Going back from the main menu, scrolling to the right, you're gonna get heart rate and you're gonna get stress levels and then again back to the weather. And you can see it's just repeating itself. Going back to the main watch, if you do it like this, 
if it's like an Android phone, you're gonna get all the controls like do not disturb, where is my phone, setting alarm, showing time, which means that the watch will run for five up to 20 minutes up to your choice and then settings, okay? And swapping like this will get you all the notifications. As you can see, very nice notifications. You can receive a lot of notifications from all the apps that you set to it. And you have these two buttons. When you press the upper button, you eventually will get guided to the internal menu. So this workout, workout records. Then you have the heart rate here, activity records, sleep, also breathing exercises. You have the call lock, you have contacts, you have music, you have the barometer, notifications, weather, stopwatch. So all these nice and good things. It does even have a flashlight. And going with the button on the downside, you can directly go to whatever you choose because this here is actually a programmable button, guys. So you can program this button to receive or to go to the menu you would like to. Guys, so with that said, for this amount of money, I think it's a very nice offering from Huawei. And now that's the time for me to tell you guys the first watch that I took got a problem with the button and I got it replaced for one hour from the Huawei Care Center here in Sofia, Bulgaria. For only one hour, they just gave me a brand new watch, guys. So I'm really impressed with the way Huawei is handling things. It's probably comparable to the experience you're gonna get when you own an Apple product. So I'm really impressed with the build quality, with the customer care, and I can only give 10 points out of 10 for the Huawei Watch GT. Hope you have a nice day. VST over and bye.